Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Um, I have a little problem on my hands. Uh, my PS4 is currently full. I have no more space to install any more games. I'm going through it right now, so I just wanted to make a video to test out a little theory that I got. I've seen a lot of YouTube videos, um, a lot of people saying that it works. Um, you can't void your warranty, and I'm going to have to be one of those people that step up to the plate and just do it because I know a lot of people in the community, sports community, don't do this. A lot of people had questions about it via Twitter. I was tweeting out a few things, but basically... It's time for me to update the storage of this bad boy right here. Now, as you guys already know, it comes with a 500 gig hard drive already built in. But from what I've heard, they have up to maybe about, I say maybe five terabyte hard drives out there. But that's like, not not to say black market, but like low, like on a, on a, on a low side of things. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can get like a five, six terabyte joint, you know what I'm saying? And install it, but... They say that like companies like top of the line companies are already shipping out two terabyte joints and stuff like that. So, you know what I'm saying? Amazon, they had this uh this little hard drive here. Now, what I'm doing is this is only a test. This hard drive that I'm about to put inside my system, if it works with no problems, I'm going to be upgrading the storage. But as far as this hard drive that I'm about to install in my system, if it works, I'm going to wipe it and then I'm going to give it away because if this works, I'm going for the I'm going for the top of the line. So, look, this is what I'm about to do for you guys. Um, the things that you guys will be seeing in this video will be a PlayStation 4. Um, you guys will be seeing a Seagate 500 gig hard drive for the PS4. All right. Um, you guys are going to be seeing my. Ogato HD 60. This is to record my gameplay. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be capturing the screen of when my system boots up, when I boot up a game with the regular hard drive built into the PS4, as well as the Seagate hard drive. I'm going to boot everything up with this as well. Um, you guys are going to see me use multiple screwdrivers, even though I think I only need one. I'm going to probably have to use both. And the funny thing is I don't have any like the little real skinny small screwdriver i don't know what you call them i don't use them i'm not one of those people that take hard drives apart so hopefully i don't break nothing um another thing you guys are going to see is my uh external hard drive this is what i use to store just about everything family pictures and stuff like that but what i have on here is my save game data now i know a lot of people are probably going to say that are like already like used to this yo what about the cloud storage why don't you just update all your stuff to the cloud well, funny thing is, this PS4 that I have right here is a new PS4, and it is not activated as my primary because the one that I previously had broke, and it wasn't reading any of my game discs, so I don't have time to go on Sony, deactivate all PS4s, activate this as my primary, and do all that bougie nonsense. Right now, this is where my save game data is, and I have a little USB stick for the update file to reinitialize my system so uh that's all you guys are going to be seeing in this video so look if i break my ps4 call me the dumbest person in the world but if this works i need you to put me up there with einstein you hear me einstein from the videos that i saw you can just slide this off by pulling it towards you and i think that worked all right so i took that off it slid off no problem okay now this is the this is the scary part now i'm looking at this little screwdriver part here and it is small as hell i am not going to be able to do this oh yes i am hold up no oh 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 i could do it with this one oh Oh, I can do it with this one. All right, all right, all right. So this little screw right here, make sure you keep a hold on to that one. And they said after you take this out, you just slide this out. Okay, okay, so it slid out now. It slid out, it slid out. So the next thing they said is you had to take out like four screws. Okay, so here go the screws right here. One, two, and three and four. Now, when you look at this hard drive, right, this is how you slide it in. Remember, this Seagate that I got, I got to remember to put it in just like that so that the ports can show. 
Now, even looking at this hard drive, it looks like it's even smaller. So, I might have to try to line them up. But uh, let me let me go ahead and try to take these screws out. I'm gonna let y'all know now. If I break my PS4, some, ooh, ooh. Um, the screwdriver that I was using did not work, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to use this knife. Now, this knife does work. I just gotta make sure I don't cut myself. Now that that's done, you slide this drive out, right? Now when you set it beside this drive, the Seagate drive is thin. And it says it on it, it says laptop thin SSHD. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and slide this in here. And now we gotta line up the screws because remember this is a thin drive, so. Alright, I'm gonna let you guys look at the front of my PS4 right now. Alright, controller plugged in with the uh, USB cord and a, a USB stick to hold the update file when you reinitialize your PS4. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. Um, we ran into a little snag of things, so I just want to update you guys on what's happening right here right now. I'm not using the USB stick anymore. I'm currently using my portable hard drive. The USB stick is, well, it is big enough, no homo. It's four gigabytes, but for what I wanna do, I don't even need it. So what I had to do was I had to download a fresh installed download file for my PS4. So the one, if anybody got the 300 megabyte one while they were watching this video, you might wanna delete that one. I have a link inside my description to my Dropbox public folder. You guys can download the 800 megabyte one from there. Um, if you don't have Dropbox, you can sign up for Dropbox using my referral link. It's pretty easy, it's simple, and um, you can send and share files with your friends. But uh, now that I have the right file that I believe is the right file, I'm going to go ahead and hit initialize. And I'm going to hit OK. And let's see what happens. All right, it's telling me, please wait. My hard drive is currently blinking. You guys can see that there while it's giving me this please wait. I hope I didn't break nothing. All right. Yes. All users. Oh, my God. It will be. All right. So what I want you guys to see, I want you guys, I want you all to see that. I want you all to see that. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it says all users data will be deleted. So it looks like it's about to work. All right. So. Just to let you guys know, I'm setting up my PlayStation 4 right now, putting in my Wi-Fi and everything like that, my password. It's just, you know, I can't show that type of stuff on screen because, you know, it's passwords and stuff. So, you know, I was telling you guys that in order to get all of your stuff back, you have to come to settings, you have to go to system storage management, I mean, I'm sorry, application save data. And then save that on USB storage device, and then you want to copy to system. So I have a lot of files on this hard drive. I have a lot of games: 2K, Batman, EA Sports, Evolve, Grand Theft, Madden, NHL, Battlefield, WWE, Call of Duty, Mortal Kombat, Saints Row, and even Evolve Alpha. So the only thing I'm going to copy to my system storage at this moment is my career and 2K. <laughs> yeah, because that's all I play. So I'm copying this. Um, system stuff to my uh, well this data to my system then what I'm gonna do is it's gonna take a while for 2k to install well actually I can start it up now so you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna start this up and I already have a pre-recording of NBA 2k so what I'm gonna do now is
All right, ladies and gentlemen, you guys have seen me install the Seagate, boot up the Seagate, and seen a comparison of the Seagate hard drive versus the stock. Um, I will be giving this one away because everything seems to be working perfectly. I have had no glitches in the last four hours. Um, just to let you guys know, I'm going to be doing a giveaway via Twitter, so make sure you follow me at iPodKingCarter via Twitter. Um, it'll be a giveaway from a tweet you guys will see um, very soon. And um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you guys share this video with all your friends. Make sure you like, subscribe, and all that. And um, we'll holler at you. I'm about to take him out to go ride his bike. Peace, y'all.